everyone, I am here with Nate Fox, director of Infamous Second Son by Sucker Punch. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us for the launch event. It's crazy here. It is a madhouse. These people are freaky. Yeah. Did you know they're like this? <laughs> Welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> I should move here. I feel very at home. Awesome. Now, the PS4 has 10 times the processing power that the PS3 had. What has this allowed you guys to do in this game that is going to just blow everybody's minds? Oh man, it lets us make uh, a very, very, very realistic Seattle where the game takes place. You know, with like rain slick streets and dynamic weather and uh, really excellent uh, performances from the actors. And because we have that foundation of reality, we can just rip it apart when we give you superpowers that you totally believe in. Talk to me about what some of those new superpowers are. All right, so we've shown Delson Rose, our new heroes, smoke powers, and uh, we've started to show some of his neon powers. Cool, so like smoke explosions and lighting effects. Sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, smoke's great because you can move like liquid quick through the through the city, you know, darting up against villains or up the sides of building, buildings. But when you get neon, you can uh, play the game in a totally different way because it's like, it's like you've seen superhero shows, right? The superhero, they have different powers. They fight differently. And Delson has the ability to absorb powers from anyone he meets that has powers, so the game changes as you develop new abilities. That's awesome. Is the, is the parkour development, uh, development still a really big part of it? Oh, yeah. It, it's an infamous game, so if you think you can climb on something, we'll let you do it. But that's the start. I mean, that's the floor. Because Delson has powers that let him move like no human being can. And that's kind of the fun of it, right? Like, I mean, when you look around the city, don't you want to go up there? No, that sounds terrifying. What? Yeah, it's a great view. It'd be fun. People would point at you and they would be envious. So let's talk a little about the, the DualShock 4. It's got some new features that maybe are going to be used in the game or not. Can you talk to us about anything that the touchpad is actually going to be used for? Yes, yes. So the DualShock 4, huge upgrade. And one thing that I don't know why and nobody ever talks about this. The joysticks are way better. So uh, aiming and shooting, if you like games like that, it's, it's, it's a world of difference. But the touchpad is also something we use because for, for kind of like more personal interactions where you know, you're not kind of jumping or blasting and you want to, um, I don't know, like rip something out or, or open a cage, we use the touchpad to simulate the physical motion that Delson's doing so the player can kind of feel like they are that person. That's awesome. Just like a, a more in-depth way to, for the players to be actually a part of the game. Yeah, yeah. We're always looking to... Do you ever get lost playing video games where you kind of don't feel your body, you're just kind of inside of the TV? We're just trying to do that as much as possible. And the controller is the way that that happens. So we're, we like the DualShock 4. Yeah, awesome. I know those sticks feel so much better. We got to have our hands on them at the E3. Amazing. All right, so when can we get our hands on this game? I'd love to tell you. Um, I, I can tell you this, you'll know very soon. Ooh, I like that. Very soon. All right. Well, thank you so much, Nate, for joining us. We really appreciate you coming out. Pleasure. PlayStation.